Hi guys, can you share back with another video on Easy Math? Okay, today is a Saturday, so I am going to release a video on straight lines. Okay, in previous video on straight lines, we discussed about some forms like point slope form, slope form, slope intercept form, and two point form. Okay, today let's continue the forms by intercept form and some other forms. First, let's start this video by intercept form. What is an intercept form of a line? Okay, we know intercepts, right? The points at which the straight line cuts the respective axis, x-axis and y-axis. That is called as intercept. Those are called as intercepts. Okay, now, what will be the formula if two intercepts are given and we should find the equation of a straight line? How can we find that? Okay, that is simple to find because they give intercepts. For example, x-intercept. X-intercept is a point on x-axis with the value of the intercept being the x-coordinate, right? So, we can take the point as x, 0 or if x-coordinate, if x-intercept be a and y-intercept be b, then we can take two points a, 0 and 0, b and Using the two-point form, we can find the equation of that line. Okay, that is somewhat lengthy process. So, there is a form and there is a formula to find the equation of a straight line if two intercepts are given. Okay, let's see how those formula is derived and what is that formula. Okay, as you can see here, the equation of a straight line or a line which cuts off intercepts A and B respectively from X and Y axis is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 means if there are two intercepts okay there will be two intercepts if those two intercepts are a and b where a represents the x intercept and b represents the y intercept then the equation is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 okay without understanding how it is derived it is very difficult to remember that so let's see how it is derived Proof. Okay, let us imagine there is a straight line A, B because this is the straight line form. So, we need a straight line. Let us imagine there is a straight line which passes through A, B which have intercepts A and B. X intercept A and Y intercept B. In other words, we can tell that from this picture O, A is A and O, B is B. The distance O, B is B. Then X and Y on the X and Y axis respectively. Let there be a point P x comma y on the straight line. Then from that point draw two perpendiculars. You should not draw perpendiculars from that point. You should draw perpendiculars from other axis to that point. Mean from x axis to that point and from y axis to that point. Let the perpendicular from x axis be PL. PL as you can see in this picture. And let the perpendicular from y axis be PM. Means PL perpendicular to OX and PM perpendicular to and PM perpendicular to OY, where O is the origin. Now the coordinates of P or X comma Y as we imagined, then what will be the distance PM? Now the x coordinate of p is x. So, the distance o l will become x. As o l is x, the length p m will also be x. So, the length of the o l is x and p l is y. Then, we should take two triangles. First, let us take the area of triangle a o b. Area of triangle AOB. We can tell that easily, right? It is half AB. Is equal to area of triangle OPA plus area of triangle OPB. We should take those two triangles, OPA and OPB. The area of triangle OAB will be some of those triangles. Okay, what is the area of OAB? Half into here in OAB base is A and height is B. So it will be half AB is equal to 
In triangle O P A O P A base is O A which is nothing but A and the height is P L which is nothing but Y. So it is half A Y and in the triangle O P B here we should take it from another angle then O B will be the base and P M will be the height means base is B and height is X. So it is half B X. All halves cancels out because if we can take half common from the R H S and this half in the R H S and half in the L H S cancels out. Then we will get A B is equal to A Y plus B X. Now how can we solve this? Send A B to the other side. It becomes A Y B X by A B plus A Y by A B. B X by A B plus A Y by A B. Here we send AB to the other side so it becomes 1. BX by AB means BB cancels out so you will get X by A plus similarly in AY by AB AA cancels out you will get Y by B. So X by A plus Y by B is equal to 1. This is our required equation and we have proved that. Okay now let's see our next form. Okay guys. Now let's see how can we reduce general equation of a straight line to the intercept form. Okay, we know general equation, right? Ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Okay, let us mention them with capital letters. Capital A, capital B and capital C because intercepts are also A, B. To reduce that confusion. Then if we send x to the other side, it becomes Ax plus by is equal to minus c. In intercept, we need 1 in the RHS, right? So, send minus C to the other side. Means the LHS. Then it becomes AX by minus C plus BY by minus C is equal to 1. And AX by minus C, A is in numerator. It can go to the denominator in the denominator. Means in denominator, we have minus C. We can write it like X by minus C by A. X by minus C by A. Similarly, it becomes y by minus c by b. Okay, this is in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. Because we are reducing normal equation to the intercept form. So, it, it should be in that form and it will be in that form. So, here, intercept on x-axis. Here, a is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. In that, here we have a. But in that equation, we got we have minus c by a. So, intercept on x-axis which is nothing but a is minus c by a. c is the constant term. So, it will be minus constant term by coefficient of x. Similarly, intercept on y will be minus c by b. Means minus constant term by coefficient of y. And there is an important point that is intercept made by a line on x-axis can also be obtained by putting y is equal to 0 in its equation. Similarly, y intercept is the value of y obtained when x is replaced by 0. Okay, now let's see normal or perpendicular form. Okay, guys. Now, the normal or perpendicular form of a line. What is the perpendicular form of a line? Means there is a line and the, a perpendicular is given. Means, let us see how we can write that in statement. Means, how can we theorem? What is the statement of the theorem? The equation of the straight line upon which the length of the perpendicular from its origin is P. And this perpendicular makes an angle alpha with the x-axis is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to P. Means, there is a straight line. Let us imagine there is a straight line. And a perpendicular is drawn from the origin to the straight line. Means a perpendicular on the straight line. Means the line segment we are drawing is perpendicular to that line. And it is drawn to origin. And the length of that line is given P. And the perpendicular makes an angle alpha with the x-axis. Means if you draw a perpendicular, it should have some angle with the x-axis, right? Here the angle is alpha. Then we should prove that or the formula to find the equation of the straight line is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. Now we should prove how 
it has been come okay why we should prove because without proof it will be somewhat difficult to understand how it have come and uh, it is somewhat difficult to remember that so let's see how to prove that let the line ab be such that the line segment of the perpendicular oq from origin o to be the line to be the line okay let the line ab there is a line ab straight line you can see that from this picture there is a line ab such that the length of perpendicular oq from the origin where o is the origin from o to q a point on the straight line is the length oq is p as you can see in the picture and angle xoq is alpha angle xoq is alpha a greek letter okay then p x comma y be any point on the line means we take a point q right now let's take another point p x comma y x comma y are coordinates respective coordinates then construction we should construct the following construct a line pl from point p to the x axis and pl is perpendicular to x axis draw a line pl such that it is perpendicular to x axis and draw another line ml means to the point l from the point m where m is a point on the line oq we should draw a perpendicular to the line oq to the point l okay we should draw a line perpendicular to oq and perpendicular to oq to l okay then we should draw another line such that it is perpendicular to ml from p means you should draw a line from p such that it is perpendicular to ml means here there are three perpendicular lines right okay now let's see how can we prove that using this construction okay see this picture carefully the next topics or the derivation the complete derivation is the complete derivation is dependent on this picture remember this picture okay now let's see in triangle olm olm the triangle olm why we have took this triangle because it is a right angle triangle and in the formula we have cos alpha right to define cos alpha we have took this triangle okay you may ask why can't we derive sin alpha from this but for sin alpha we need opposite side which is ml we don't know the length of the ml right so we are taking cos alpha cos alpha will be adjacent side by hypotenuse so om by ol means cos alpha is equal to om by ol if ol goes to the other side it becomes om is equal to ol cos alpha here the length of the ol is x why as we discussed before then there is a point p and the trace of that point on x axis is l so the distance ol will be the x coordinate of p which is nothing but x okay then now let's see how to define y sin alpha from the same way we can derive y sin alpha 2 okay let's see in triangle p and l okay i think you have seen the diagram if you haven't seen go somewhat back in the video and see the diagram okay now sin alpha is equal to p n by p l in triangle p n l it will be p n by p l opposite side by hypotenuse then if p l goes to the other side it becomes pn is equal to pl sin alpha here there if you observe carefully pl what is the length of pl okay it will be the y coordinate of p so 
So the length of PL is Y. So it is Y sin alpha. MQ is equal to PN is equal to Y sin alpha. Okay, how is this? So if you observe carefully the lines PN and MQ, the PNQM is a rectangle, right? PNQM is a rectangle. So the opposite sides will be equal. Here opposite sides are nothing but PN and MQ. So those two are equal to Y sin alpha. Why we are equaling them? Because in previous equation, we got e OM, right? Now we got MQ. So we can find the length OQ. OQ is nothing but P. OQ is equal to OM plus MQ is equal to P. So P is equal to X cos alpha plus Y sin alpha. Because OM is X cos alpha and MQ is Y sin alpha. So the equation is X cos alpha plus Y sin alpha is equal to P. This is how to prove that formula. Okay, now let's see another form, another form of a straight line. Distance form. Okay, let's see the theorem, statement of the theorem. The equation of the straight line passing through x1, y1 making an angle theta with the positive direction of x-axis is, means there is a straight line that is passing through x1, y1, a point x1, y1 and making an angle theta with the positive direction of x-axis. Then its equation will be x minus x1 by cos theta is equal to y minus y1 by sin theta is equal to r. Okay, if you observe this carefully, x minus x1 by y minus y1 means, let's take the first two terms, then if you send y minus y1, x minus x1 to the other side, or if we do cross multiplication, if we send sin theta to the, the two LHS and x by minus x minus x1 to the RHS. Then we will get sin theta by cos theta means tan theta is equal to y minus y1 by x minus x1. y minus y1 by x minus x1. What is that? It is slope, right? y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. And sin theta by cos theta which is tan theta which is nothing but slope. So we can prove those but R. How can we prove that? It is equal to R. Okay, here R is the distance of point x comma y on the line from the point x1 comma y1. Means they may give the angle theta or in some cases they may give R. Now let's see how to prove that. Okay, now let the given line meets x-axis at A and y-axis at B and passes through point Q x1, y1. Means any line should touch x-axis and y-axis, right? If in case if they are not parallel to those axes. Let, now let us imagine the line touches x-axis at A and y-axis at B. Then it passes through x1, y1 as it is given in the statement. And let P, x, y be any point. Now let P, x, y be any point on the line at a distance or from the point Q. That is P, Q is equal to R. Now let us construct. As you can see, let us construct as this picture. Okay? Understand this picture. We need this picture. We will derive this based on this picture. Let's derive this based on this picture. QN is equal to ML is equal to OL minus OM is equal to X minus X1. What is QN? Okay, here the point Q is not mentioned. As you can see, as my mouse pointer is on, that is the point Q. QN will be ML, right? Because it is a rectangle. QM is equal to, QN is equal to ML. Which is nothing but OL minus OM. Right? We can write it like OL minus OM. Why that? Because the length of OL is coordinate of P, which is X. And the length of OM 
is coordinate of q which is x1 it will be x minus x1 similarly pn what is pn similarly pn will be y minus y1 now from triangle pqn cos theta is equal to qn by pq pq is nothing but r and qn is x minus x1 so cos theta is equal to x minus x1 by r again in the triangle sin theta will be pn by pq that is sin theta is equal to y minus y1 by r okay you got x minus x1 by r and y minus y1 by r okay now from equation 1 equation 1 is nothing but cos theta equation if you send r to the r to the lhs and cos theta to the rhs you will get r is equal to x minus x1 by cos theta similarly r is equal to y minus y1 by sin theta now those two are equal right because both are r so we get the required equation okay guys this is for today's video if you like the video hit that like button smash that subscribe button ring that bell icon did not face you when i release a new video if you have any doubts comment down below i'll answer them in the next